It's man day. As promised, on Monday, I want to talk about all things masculinity. Where do you start though, right? Where do you start? But the reason we've got to this place is that our world around us does not want to say what is masculine and what is feminine. We don't even have those categories anymore because everything is equal, even, no differences. Even though every one of us know that there are differences. There are differences. Now, I know why that impulse is out there. Because for many centuries, men have held a privileged position in society. The last 40, 50 years, we've seen great gains by the women where there's more equality in the workplace, more equality in society. I think that's great. But to say that we're, there's no difference and we're the same is not helpful. In fact, Captain Marvel, she is a, she's a woman. It's a heroine. She has godlike powers, godlike strength, even beyond all the other Marvel characters. Why is that? I'm guessing, but I'm thinking it's trying to prove that women are just as strong, if not stronger. They're just as smart, if not smarter. They're superior to men in every way. Again, that's not helpful. There are three passages when the Bible wants to bring out this idea of strength courage. It's talking to men. It actually says, this is a man-like characteristic. First Samuel chapter 4, it's a Philistine commander looking all his men being scared because the ark of God is now coming out on the battlefield. And he says, men, stand firm, be men. In First Kings chapter 2, King David to Solomon, he, show, he tells his son, show yourself to be a man. And then in the New Testament, 1 Corinthians 16, it says, act like men, stand firm. All of these things are masculine characteristics. Now, does that mean they are exclusively men characteristics? No, because I would want my daughters to be courageous. I would want my wife to be courageous. But it is generally a characteristic of men. They are to be courageous. Like if late at night my wife and I are in bed and we hear these noises downstairs, these sounds that are unusual, I don't kick my wife out of the bed and say, you go check. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. Or when there's a bug crawling around the house that I have my wife squash the spiders and bugs instead of me because I'm squeamish. No. It's a men characteristic, a man characteristic. There's reasons for this. We're physically different, anatomical differences between men and women. I do want to get into that next week. We can talk about that because I do think it shows that God has intentionality. He has purposes in the way he's created us, which point to even function, traits, roles, all of that. We'll talk about that next week.